Well, howdy do, and welcome to the first episode of Black Iowa's Beer Review. On today's episode, the inaugural episode, we're going to be reviewing some Sam Adams Oktoberfest, baby. Now this here, uh, you know, named after Oktoberfest, and you saying to yourself, Black Iowa, it's September, baby. What you doing drinking Oktoberfest? Well, I'm going to tell you. The uh, origins of Oktoberfest, and I got to reading on this today, is that it started in September, and uh, it was for the Crown Prince of Bavaria, boy. See, he got hitched, and uh, they had a 16-day party, man. Woo! Now, I like to party, baby, but 16 days? I couldn't hang with them Bavarians, baby. But we are going to go ahead and try this beer today. It is 5.3% alcohol by volume, and it's a lager style beer. It says here that it's a rich and balanced traditional Marzen. So that's the thing about it. It's not a pumpkin beer. It's actually a Marzen beer. And uh, you know there's plenty of Oktoberfest beers out there. The Line and Kugel has one that I haven't tried. Um, you know Blue Moon's got the pumpkin ale which I think is really good but a lot of pumpkin in it man. That's for the white bitches. But I love that shit too. This here um, I really don't drink very often and I haven't had it in a while, so we're going to try it today and see how it tastes. So, we'll go ahead and uh, get the ball rolling, take our football bottle opener here, and give that beer a crack. Yeah. Take a little smell for ourselves. You can definitely smell that, that Mars and it's got that caramel, kind of dark roast scent, if you will. So we'll go ahead and uh, pour that in our beer mug here and uh, see what it looks like. So we'll tilt our glass here. We're not going to be heathens. Tilt that glass and pour it down the side. That's how you pour a proper beer, baby. And uh, you know, on these ones, you kind of want to, you don't pour it too slow, but you don't want to flop it in there either, do you? I actually kind of poured that one a little too slow. Not much of a head on there, but that's fine. And uh, as you can see, kind of got a dark amber color to it. Good hearty beer for you. You know, get warm in the fall, in the October time. Let's take a little smell. Yeah, definitely getting that Mars and now that we've got it breathing and got it open. So, without further ado, let's, uh, let's have a little taste, shall we? Yeah, this is going to be good. Boy, I just got off of work and I'm more than ready to drink a beer. Yeah. The Oktoberfest. Let's do it. Mm. That's a good beer. You can definitely taste the uh, the Marzen. And uh, what do we got here? I'm going to read the back of it to you. Uh, custom malt. The malt brings so much to a great beer. At the heart of our Oktoberfest, we developed a unique malt blend to provide a deep, robust color and a smooth, rich flavor. Like you, we look forward to this tradition every year, so it's the least we can do to make sure every sip is worth the wait. And let me tell you something, Sam Adams. You did me right. It was worth the wait, baby. It's good, good shit. It's a... Uh, it's kind of like a Guinness. You know how Guinness really doesn't, it seems like it's not carbonated. But the difference between this and the Guinness is the hops, man. The hops come right up front and give it that bite. So it's still good. It's not too watery. And it's not too strong either. Sometimes you get those pumpkin beers or a Marzen beer and it's overpowering, man. It's no good. This is a good drinkable beer. Um, just delicious, man. I like it. Especially when it's good and cold. Gotta have that beer good and cold. As far as a food pairing, uh, you know, I would, you know, we're Oktoberfest. Might as well keep it traditional. Get yourself some uh, bratwurst, you know, some sauerkraut, a little spicy mustard, man. Woo! That'd be good with this beer right here. Or you can just do what I'm doing tonight and drink it and get shit-faced, baby. Woo! It's going to be a good night tonight. But this isn't really a beer. You know, I say I'm going to, but this isn't really something you want to be slamming either. This is one you can sit back and sip. But it's definitely more of a fall beer. Not for the summertime, baby. I couldn't be drinking this after mowing the yard. I want to drink this after raking the leaves. You see what I'm saying? Another sip. Let me let me get another sip. 
Mm. That's just all right, man. And much better in the mug than uh, straight out of the bottle. I don't know if they have cans of this or not. Maybe y'all can help me with that. But, uh, yeah. So, overall, the Sam Adams Oktoberfest. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give it a 7. It's pretty damn good. Not something I would drink every day. Um, and really not something that I would go out of my way to get. But, uh... Pretty damn good. I mean, every once in a while, just kind of treat yourself, do something special, be a little festive, if you will. Go ahead and hit that Sam Adams Oktoberfest. Well, that's about all I got to say about that beer. Um, I'm going to quit talking about it and start drinking it. So, <laughs> thank you all for joining me on the first ever episode of Black Iowa's Beer Review. Join me next week. We'll be reviewing another beer. If you've got any uh, beers that you think I should try, let me know. And maybe we'll try them out and see how it works. And uh, as always, you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And make sure and follow me on social media. Y'all have a good one. Enjoy your cold beer. And I'll see you next time, baby.